one penny that said it started my whole career, and um, I was in, I guess, a painting two or three class, I can't remember, um, but we, we had certain assignments to, um, to fulfill, and I've done those, and the last one was kind of a really free, there wasn't a whole lot of guidelines as far as what the subject matter or technique or colors, um, and so I kind of went back to um, um, an exercise we did in a drawing class called a blind contour drawing, where you, you're really focusing on the object, you're not looking at the paper as you're drawing, but you're focusing on the object and just letting your hand mimic what your eye sees, and so, um, you know, doing that, you come back and look at your paper and sometimes it doesn't look at all like what you're drawing. Um, yes, because your lines, you're just, you're so focused and you're moving it just millimeters, you know, along the object. Um, but I really liked the way that it turned out, the very kind of organic, um, not, not precise. Um, uh, oh, so that's kind of how I got to the squiggly squiggly lines very um, just really so I still have that painting and I um, I probably I've had a lot of people ask to buy it and I won't let go of it because it, it just has a lot of significance to me as far as I feel like that's where my style developed in that way.